You cannot know the Father just by reading the Bible. There are a lot of people who read the Bible who don't know the Father. Jesus said in Matthew 11 and verse 27, in the middle of that verse, Matthew 11, 27, no one knows the Son except the Father. If you know Jesus Christ, it is because the Father revealed him to you, not because of your cleverness. Humble yourself and say, God revealed Jesus to me. And listen to this. No one can know the Father except the Son and the one to whom the Son reveals him. You cannot know the Father by hearing some preacher explaining what God, knowing God the Father is. No. You can listen to my message today about knowing God as a father, and I guarantee you will not know God as a father. Jesus has to reveal the father to you. I'll give you my own testimony. I was born in a Christian family. My father was born again before I was born. So I had the good fortune of being sent to born again Christian churches right from childhood. I never went to a nominal Christian church, even as a child, or so to Sunday school. But for 19 years of my life, I did not know Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Till the day came in my life where I began to know Jesus Christ as my personal savior, I knew my sins were forgiven. I had no doubt that Christ had come into my life and I was born again. But it took me 16 years after that to know the Father. I was about 35 and a half years old before I came to know the Father. In all those years, I'll tell you how I know I did not know the Father. I used to be anxious. I used to be discouraged. I used to complain. I used to grumble about things. I was critical of many people. I did not know the Father. And those are the clearest proofs. Jesus said, if you know the Father, you will not be anxious because he has numbered the hairs on your head. Those are not just theories for us to believe in, just read. He, he knows the sparrows that fall. When was the last time you found a dead sparrow on the ground? Can you remember? The last time you saw a dead sparrow on the ground? I tell you, I can't even remember it. That's my father. Do you know this father who knows the number of hairs on your head? If you wake up one morning and you find a hair on your pillow, do you get worried about it? Oh, when hair is gone. I don't have much hair. I don't worry about it myself. But my father in heaven, he knew the exact moment when that hair fell off my head into the pillow. You may think that's ridiculous. It's not. I believe what Jesus said. Jesus was saying the intensity of the Father's care for those who are devoted to him. Not for every Tom, Dick, and Harry who calls himself a Christian. No. But if you're devoted to Christ, I'll tell you something. You're the most blessed person on the face of the earth. Because your Father cares for you. He cares for the hairs on your head more than he cares for the sparrows. Every detail of your life he cares for. He said, think of the the flowers in the field, who clothes them? Your father will clothe you. Who feeds the birds? Three times in Matthew 6, verse 25 to 34, he said, three times, Matthew 6, 25, don't be worried. Matthew 6 and uh, 31, don't be worried. Matthew 6, 34, 34. Now, when Jesus, in the space of about two minutes, or one minute, it takes you about two minutes to read those nine verses. In the space of two minutes, he says, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It must be serious. And how not to worry? It's not by going through a course of being free from anxiety. No, it's by knowing the Father. And I'll tell you whether you know the Father. Do you get anxious about something? Let me tell you, brother, you need to know the Father. You don't need a course on freedom from anxiety. You need to know the Father. Three times he says, don't be anxious because you've got a Father in heaven. Your heavenly Father, verse 32, knows what you need. 
Well, I'll tell you this. It took me 16 years after I was born again to know the Father like that, to know that God loved me exactly like he loved Jesus. That was a great revelation from John 17, 23. I can show you the verse. You can remember the verse, but don't, don't believe because you read the verse, you got revelation. I read the verse many times. That the world may know that you love them as you love me. That the Father loves us as he loved Jesus. I've heard many Christians quote it. But the proof will be like Jesus, you will not be anxious. The proof will be like Jesus, you will not be bitter against anybody. The proof will be like Jesus that you'll be willing to forgive every single person, even if they crucify you. You'll forgive them immediately. Then you know the Father. If you can't forgive someone, let me tell you, my dear brother, sister, lovingly and humbly, you don't know the Father. Don't imagine you know him. You know Jesus as your Savior. Yes, he died for your sins and his blood will cleanse you, but you do not know the Father and that is the fundamental problem why you have so many other problems in your life. And yet Jesus came from heaven to reveal the Father. Thank you.